Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jackson Genius. In this video, we will be working through a few examples where we will gain an understanding of how time is displayed in digital clocks in comparison to analog clocks. Here we see that the digital clock has been completed with the time, while a blank analog clock face has been given. We need to complete the analog clock with the same time as the digital clock. Let's first determine what time is displayed on the digital clock. When we look at the hour section, we see that we are in the 10th hour. Next, when we look at the minute section, we see that 28 minutes have passed the hour in total. It is therefore 28 minutes past 10. Now let's show this on the analog clock. Since it is 28 minutes past 10, the hour hand will therefore point to the 10. Let's add this in. Now let's look at the minute section. Since we already know that 28 minutes have passed the hour, the minute hand will point to the 28th marking on the analog clock. Let's include the multiples of 5 by each number to determine where this is on the clock. So 1 multiplied by 5 is 5, 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Let's add the minute hand in a way that points to the 28th marking. We have therefore updated the analog clock with the same time displayed on the digital clock as required. If you are finding this video helpful so far, then go ahead and hit that like button so that we can reach many more people to help them understand and enjoy mathematics. Here we see that the analog clock has been completed with the time while a blank digital clock has been given. We need to complete the digital clock with the same time that is on the analog clock. Let's first determine what time is displayed on the analog clock. We see that the hour hand is pointing directly at the five, and we are therefore in the fifth hour. The minute hand is pointing directly to the one, and since we know that each number on the clock represents a multiple of 5, we know that 5 minutes have passed the hour because 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5. It is therefore 5 minutes past 5. Now let's show this on the digital clock. The hour section will include a 5, since we are in the 5th hour, and the minute section will also include a 5, since 5 minutes have passed the hour. Let's add that in. We have therefore updated the digital clock with the same time displayed on the analog clock as required. Here we can see that the digital clock has been completed with the time while a blank analog 
clock face has been provided. We need to complete the analog clock with the same time that is shown on the digital clock. Pause the video now and try this example on your own. Then press play when you are ready for us to work through it together. Welcome back everyone. Let's begin. Let's first determine what time is displayed on the digital clock. As we know, when we read the time, we first read the hours and then we read the minutes that have passed the hour. When we look at the hour section on the digital clock, we see that two hours have passed. We are in the second hour. Next, when we look at the minute section, we see that 43 minutes have passed the hour in total. So since we have passed half past, we need to calculate how many minutes are left to get to the next hour, which is 3 o'clock, and then correctly read the time. We would say 60 minutes minus 43 minutes And this is equal to 17 minutes. It is therefore 17 minutes to 3. Now let's show this on the analog clock. Since it is 17 minutes to 3, we know that we are on our way to the third hour, but we are not there yet. The hour hand will go between the 2 and the 3. Let's add that in. Since we already know that 43 minutes have passed the hour, the minute hand will point to the 43rd marking on the analog clock. Let's include the multiples of 5 by each number to determine where this will be on the clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. This is the 43rd marking on the clock. Let's include the minute hand. Now we have updated the analog clock with the same time displayed on the digital clock as required. Now, if you completed this example correctly, then well done. If you did not, then don't be discouraged. With time and practice, you will improve. And if you do have any questions, then please go ahead and leave a comment below. Well, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!